Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to make and cut out these cute little Easter bunnies. This is called Bella, the Easter bunny. So all I do is open Cricut Design Space, New Project, click Upload and navigate to the SVG file uh, and then upload that into the project. Now in this uh, video I'm going to be doing two cutouts. So I've got one which is the plain egg on the left and one which is the patterned one on the right. So on the right hand side you see a list of all the layers for this design and you can see by turning this eye icon on and off that um, the shapes disappear from the screen. You can also select any of these shapes and change the fill colour by going to the toolbar at the top and selecting the fill colour. So say for example you wanted to see what your Easter bunny would look like in the orange shade, you go and make sure that the layer is selected and then go up to the fill and change it to orange. And then come to the colour sync and just make sure that everything is on the same uh, colour that I want. So say for example you've got your two bunnies here but the two pinks are different colours, different shades of pink. You can go to the colour section, the colour sync section sorry, and then move those all onto the one page. So that means that when you then cut them out in the next step they're all on the one, um, one cardstock colour, the one pink colour rather than two separate ones. So once I'm happy with everything and then go to the next screen and this then shows you all the cuts on the different colored card stocks um, that you have got. So for example here you can see I've got the two black bunnies which are the outline, you've then got a white background, you've got the grey fur, you've got um, all the different cuts in here. So this is where you go through and just change the size of the card stock that you have. Once I'm happy that everything's got the right um, card stock size selected, I then go to the next stage and this then connects design space to your machine. And it is a little bit slow today. Ah, here we go. Um, so what happens next is it lets you select your materials. So you've got the favourites, which are all the ones that you favourited, the popular ones, and then also all materials. So in favourites, I'm just going to go through and make sure that this black card is using my specific material uh, that I've made for them, which is basically a duplicate of the cardstock for intricate cuts, but with a little bit more pressure added. So once I'm happy, um, you can also, if you then select another section, so say for example, you've loaded up your white card stock first, you can come in, change the material, and then off you go. So the next thing that happens is I go and select all my different card stocks, make sure I've got my mats ready. I'm gonna use the light grip and the strong grip mat for this project. I think I did actually end up using just this light grip mat because it's a brand new one, so um, it has a great stick to it for all my card stock. So once we get going, we cut out the first two layers, which is the um, the bunny outline. All I do is cut them out, and then when they're peeled off the mat, I turn the mat sticky side down onto the desk, and then peel the mat away from the cutout. This way it keeps your cutouts completely flat, so you have no curling problems when you come to then assembling it. And then all we're gonna do is just go through and cut out all the other colored pieces that I need for the design. So then all we do is we get all of our pieces together and just start sticking them together just like a puzzle. And again, I use some nice craft glue for this and it all depends on how you want your finished bunny to look. So you might only want the outline, you might only want the bow, you might want it to be completely white bunny, which is what I've got to show you next and not bother with any of these cutouts. You might be doing it in vinyl work where you just want two or three layers. Um, it's completely up to you. And again, these designs all come so you can pick and choose what you want to cut out and how you want it to look. And then we move on to the next one, which is again, uh, just sticking it all down with some glue. I don't think there's as many pieces to this one because I just chose to do the background, the top layer, and then just infill the little color parts. Um, I do apologize for having a really horrible thumb in this, in this video. I managed to slice my thumb open a couple of days ago um, by cutting some card from a Cricut maker. So yeah, I do apologize for that. Um, I'm hoping it'll heal up soon so it doesn't look as bad in the next couple of videos that I do. Um, so yeah, so just sticking them all together and there we have it. And the finished look. So this is what your little bunny should look like. Um, one's plain, one's patterned, and then both have got the colour pieces. Again, totally depends on what you are doing with these designs as how they look. But yeah, she's a little cutie, isn't she? I really hope you like this design as much as I do.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you like this design as much as I do. You can find all the details in the description of where you can get the design from and links to all my social media. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Please do like and subscribe. Bye.